on tonight's series premiere of Kill Reality. To the house. Television's reality superstars move into a house together. <laughs> the boom boom room will be in full effect. Would you stop? This is exactly why I just trying to While shooting on location for their supernatural thriller. <laughs> I don't understand why you're not working. Because you're not working with me. When reality stars become movie stars, the real horror begins. And now, the series premiere of Kill Reality. You have seven new messages. To listen to your messages, press two. I've been working in the film industry for over 20 years, and I manage legitimate actors who deserve to be working, not your reality television camera whores. Reality TV is ruining the industry that I love, and what you are doing is disgusting. You're taking the food out of the mouths of real actors. I hope your movie fails, and I hope no one answers your f***ing casting call. Message erased. There are a lot of jackasses in Hollywood, so I do think that Hollywood's ready for me. The real actors and actresses hate us. Naturally, they should. We're taking their jobs. I definitely don't think any of us are coming in here expecting to win an Oscar. Actors, real actors, beware. We're here to take over the world. Let's do it. Possible nearly, possible nearly. I'm like, I see where they're going with this. Hi, everybody. I'm Robert Cubellos. I'm the director of our supernatural thriller called The Scorned. It's Scorned? I think that's the movie's name. Um, I think, I don't really even know what this is. And we welcome you here to this round of the auditions. We appreciate you all being here. All those people that you love to hate <laughs> are now all going to be in, in one room. And you all probably recognize each other because you're all the top of the notch of the most popular reality shows out there. But this group is not going to take long for people to start hating each other. We have uh, Survivor All-Star Rob Sister Dino. I'm known as the sneakiest and smartest survivor of all time. I'm very excited about seeing my words, hopefully not potentially ruined by reality stars pretending to be actors. If we do our job right, we'll be able to surprise the critics and thrill the fans. So. We'll see you in there. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. I think that reality television stars are the perfect pool to pull from for casting a movie. The reason being is these people have already been narrowed down from thousands and thousands of auditions just to get on the reality show. So they must have been special on screen. Now, as they walk through our doors for our, our auditions, we see, wow, all these, you know, 20, 30, 40, 50 people with tons and tons of charisma. Now we just have to translate that into acting ability. And with a lot of them, that's very possible. The movie's very legitimate. The only thing that might not be legitimate is us actors. Okay, I'm ready? And action. The auditioning process is, is an interesting process. I've never really been through this process before. I'm good at being it myself, but, you know, not so good at being other people, I guess. What the hell is this? I'm Jenna Lewis <laughs> from Survivor. Well, it's not my first attempt at acting. Um, I actually had a recurring role on Nash Bridges. I was in a TV series called Freedom. And if they want to judge us or come in with mis misconceptions and preconceptions about who we are and what we're going to bring to the table as actors because we were on a reality show, well, I don't think that's fair. You know, I tried to get over it, but I can't. 
Bye, guys. I feel like this is so professional. I've it never even done this before. And I need you to kick ass. The role that I have in mind for Tanya from the real world is the role of the crazy bitch girlfriend of Seth. I think she can pull that off. They're casting every guy I've ever hooked up with and all the girlfriends of the guys that I hooked up with and they're all standing out there in the waiting room. Yeah, yeah go yeah, for it, baby, go for it! <laughs> She just admitted it. I did, I slept with him. Thank you. Leave it to me, everybody, right? Thank you so much. Johnny and I hooked up once. We never have since. I think he has a crush on me. I'll probably Tanya again. <laughs> I don't know, let's go get drunk. Let's go. We can do our reads drunk, wanna do it? Yeah. I'm game. I am professional. I'm driving. Before every shoot, I get bombed. <laughs> I do so much better. When I see the vodka in the water bottle, it kind of upsets me. I see this as a really great opportunity to make a movie and, and to actually work and, and to do something professional. Unfortunately, there are some people who don't take it that way. People are drunk here right now. They show up at 11 in the morning with a can of beer. <laughs> stop. Okay, start. Start over. Start over. I forgot is that my cold? kids. I forgot my kids. Is, Calm is down. That cold? No, you have to be colder to me. Johnny Fairplay stopped me in the hall. I said, uh, I told him the second reading was much, much better. And he said, Oh, no, you know, the reason Q is that uh, I went out and did two 16 ounce beers and I had to be a little taken aback by his work ethic and the fact that he would announce to me that he drank two beers to do better on the second audition was kind of a red flag. It's nerve-wracking to be quite honest. I don't know how real actors go to audition after audition. <laughs> That's really bad again. Oh, see? What? It's very confusing for me. What? <laughs> to somebody who doesn't do this for a living, it's uh, it's scary, man. It, it really is scary. Well, if y'all hadn't forgotten about me. This is something that I've fallen into. I didn't set out to be an actor. When I did The Bachelor, it was because it was fun, it was something new and exciting. And then you never know where that road's gonna take you. Hi, Tony Ferrari. I am reading for Trish. The premise with this movie, Scorned, and it actually giving a chance to reality stars to really cross over is, it's a gift. If I don't get the role, I definitely will give up acting, period. I will walk away from what all. This audition is all or nothing. I will walk away. Seriously, if you show up in my apartment, my landlord's gonna throw me out on the street. You know that. That's all I ever wanted to do, and no one will give me a break. That's all I want, and I'm good. If you just give me a chance, let go of reality TV. It's just something I did for a free vacation and money. The auditions have taken place, and Rob and I get to call everybody and let them know they got the part. Steven, congratulations. You're going to be hanging out with us this summer on our film. That's awesome. I'm so happy. Thanks, guys. Hey, Trish. We like you as Raina, and uh, we can't wait to start working with you. That's so awesome. Johnny, you're officially DQ. We have your urine on file, don't worry. Woo! What are we doing? I just want to congratulate you. Okay. Because you got the role of Kirsten. I got the lead? Oh! Yay! <laughs> oh, I'm so excited! I wanted that one so bad.